Welcome to the LA Story Podcast with Stevie Wilson. Hey people, this is Stevie for the LA Story. And you know, uh, if you haven't looked outside and noticed that it's holidays, where have you been? Time for getting into the party spirit, and God knows I need a little help getting there. So we have celebrity event planner Kathy Riva on the phone to help us get ideas and how to implement having a great party for the holidays without a whole lot of fuss. That's exactly right, Stevie. It should be no fuss, right? The holidays have plenty of other things to stress about. So if I can give you a couple of inspiring ideas to allow you to have fun and have an affordable holiday party, that I've done my job. I'll be so thrilled. I would be thrilled too. <laughs> so look, I'll jump right in. I think that um, if you start with everyday items that you can find that really easy to get to stores or maybe even in your own home, that's where you start. So for decor, I've got a six foot table here that's great for a buffet or a cocktail party. And I've taken craft paper, that brown paper you use to mail packages off, you know, kind of the holiday season. And right. I've used it to make a tablecloth. And then I've actually done a really three inch big wide red ribbon uh, to make it look like a present. So when the guests walk in, it's the first thing they see. It's this beautiful kind of gift wrap table. I love it. What a great idea. And then when you spill things, you don't have to worry about it. Exactly. It makes for easy cleanup. It's, it's really multi-purpose. It's affordable and easy. And the next tip is going into the centerpieces. I'm a big fan of a functional centerpiece. And what I mean by that is it could be something edible or something you don't have to take away just because it's pretty. So I've got here this beautiful Jonathan Adler hexagon tray filled with pita chips that have been made from um, cookie cutters and pita bread. So any shape you want you could use. We use snowflakes. So we have pita chips made from snowflakes. And then we have our favorite dip. I used, I kind of made a snowman, so I had a creamy dill dip here with two olives for the eyes, a little carrot for the nose, and some white vegetables for the body. And it's a healthy treat that also looks presentable and fabulous and really makes people, the guests come in, they're like, wow, this is terrific. You did this? It's, you know, it's a win-win for everybody. Oh, absolutely. It sounds so easy. It's easy and it's healthy and it's fun. Everything I love. But hopefully you do too. I, I do. If it's fun and easy, that's, that's two operative words that usually don't match up in my equation. Especially for the holidays. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So for me, it's all about cocktails. Well, I've got some really good recipes for you then. I've partnered up with Sal's of Tequila this year to create my favorite drinks for the season. I'm in love with the sparkling apple margarita. It is, Ooh. it's really easy to make. It's a margarita base and then you just use sparkling apple juice. So you can find sparkling apple juice at almost any grocery store and the crisp, refreshing taste of the apple really partners well with any of your savory hors d'oeuvres. It's very delicious. And then for a pop of color, I would suggest a pomegranate margarita because it's so fun and festive. It's red. It looks great on the table and even better on the bar. And then uh, Salsa makes the freshest tasting margaritas because they use fresh pressed agave in every bottle. So they're really delicious. I love margaritas and I think it's easy because people like the festive look of them and then they like the taste because it's not real sweet. Absolutely, they're always a crowd pleaser. Now I am going to give you something really sweet on that note because we're going to jump into the drinkable dessert that we've got that Salsa's created. It's called the Salsa S'more and I think you're just oh. going to want some more after I tell you what's in it. So again, this is a drink. So it's chocolate liqueur, it's a little heavy cream, it's a little milk, um, Salsa tequila, serve it in a martini glass rim the glass with marshmallow cream, and then dip it in chocolate shavings, and then top it off with a little mini candy cane, and this will be a showstopper. That is a showstopper. That's amazing. It's so delicious, and it's dessert, so then you're done. Like, you don't really even have to make anything for dessert if you don't want to. That's a great idea. I like that idea, <laughs> because I, I'm big about having people bring food, but it's still a lot of work to come up with the cocktails and the this and the that, and this you can make up by almost buy the pitcher and then just get the glasses ready. Yeah, that's a big, that's a great suggestion. Pre-batching anything as early as you can the night before or even a couple of days before will save you time and have you enjoy your day with family and friends, which, you know, sometimes it's very stressful to have that great positive energy when your guests walk in, but you're rearranging like the last flowers on your table. 
Sounds great to me. If people had more questions, where can they go to find you? They can, they can go check out Salsa on Facebook at Salsa Tequila, and they can also check out SalsaTequila.com with all these great pictures, recipes, more information on some bite-sized hors d'oeuvres, and some other, other fun interactive ideas. Super. People, you know I'm big on cocktails. If you follow my blog, you know that. So we really appreciate what Kathy Riva has given us today. Kathy, you've been genius on this one. Well, enjoy. Happy holidays. I hope Thank you, you have been inspired. Same to you. And people, this is Stevie for the LA Story saying, hope you have a great holiday season. Throw this party because if you do, send me a post and let me know how it went. And uh, so I can actually share everything with all the other readers. So this is Stevie for the LA Story thanking Kathy Reaver for her time and Salsa for some great recipes. And see you soon, people. Bye. Thanks for joining Stevie Wilson on LA Story. Feel free to check out other podcasts and videos. Bookmark it now. www.la-story.com.